Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to the signed card from wallet colour change card trick. You're going to need a wallet. Now this is the Uday wallet, a lot of you guys say this is out of stock. I'm just using it because I love it, you don't need it, it could be your normal wallet, it could be in an envelope, it doesn't really matter. But I'm using this because this is my favourite wallet. And I'm going to take a playing card, a blue face playing card with prediction written on it. But it's a double backer, it's red on the one side and blue on the other. And I'm going to slide that into a compartment in my wallet. Remembering which way to open it. Although if you're using a normal wallet or an envelope, or this could just be in the deck, it doesn't matter, but I'm just using it in my wallet. You're then going to need a double backed red playing card. Now this double backed red playing card has got roughing balm down this edge about a centimetre into the card. I've then got a, another red card. Now this prediction, the writing, needs to match as best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. They're not going to see it for too long. And this is going to be your fourth card. In this case, it's the five of spades. And the good old top of the box gaff. Now, I'm using this because I need to do a triple lift. Um, and it's very easy if you've got a hard card to get a lift on the three cards. It's also a good way of ditching the double backed card the other double backed red to blue card and the actual card the spectator chose at some point. So it's a good way of ditching that at the end if you want it. So I've got my top of the box gaff. I've got my rough embalmed card. Where's the rough embalm? There. So that is going to sit on top with the rough this side so I can spread the cards without fear of revealing that blue card under here. So we get rid of this. Right, let me just show you something crazy. Um, in my wallet, oh God, I've already opened it the wrong way, haven't I? Right, don't do that. In my wallet, I've got a prediction. You can flash the back of this. It's literally a wallet and it's got a blue card and it says prediction. And I'll tell you what, we'll leave it in full view the whole time. You can give these cards a fake cut if you want. You could even give them a fake shuffle if you want. But I'm just going to give it a fake triple cut and a bit of a shuffle. Right, Spectator's got a free choice. Well, a free choice other than the top three cards. Um, if you're worried they might pick the top card, just say, right, call out stop as we dribble down. Or just fan the cards and say, pick one of these. Doesn't matter. Just get them to pick a card. Let's say they pick this one. Now what I'm thinking about doing on holiday is normally you would just show this card wouldn't you but you can't show this card because you're going to force the five in a minute so what I'm going to do if I do this trick on holiday I'm going to take this card out I'm going to place it on the top and say look you've got a chance to win a drink now if you can take a guess as to what you think this top card is if you're right I'll buy you a drink. Now gaffer's going all inclusive so I ain't going to buy nothing but it's just a good way of sort of masking the fact that this isn't their car. Let's say they say this, I don't know, three of hearts. You're now going to do a triple lift, like I say, because you've got that hard card. You don't even need to think about it. Just turn them over quickly and show the five of spades. Obviously, they haven't won a drink. So you do need a Sharpie now. Very important, this trick is signed. So just get them to sign this card. Now you can just hold the cards while they sign it so there's no fear of seeing anything. So right, we'll just wait for the ink to dry, do another triple lift, turn it over, split the pack in half and then place their card into the centre of the deck. Now this is the actual card they chose, the Eight of Clubs, it's an irrelevant card. Place these down and you know what, we're just going to give it a mix up. So just give it another fake cut or a fake shuffle or whatever you want to do. You can now go to your prediction that's been sat here the whole time. So you can take this card out, place it on top and say, wouldn't it be crazy if the prediction in the wallet is, wow, kind of looks like your five of spades. You can push this off now, no fear, because um, the two gaff cards are here, but this double backed red card will hide um, the fact that you've 
well it's not hiding anything is it so you're going to push this off place it on the table put all these down and the kicker will be the fact that when the spectator turns this card over it will be a blue card with prediction written on it and the best of it all is if they want to check the cards they can go through the cards and they will not find another blue card with prediction written on it because gaffers <gasps> what have i done to my wallet eh? what have i done gimmicked his wallet already basically all i've got is a bit of black card in here with the magnets hiding under it so i haven't actually damaged my wallet it's literally a back a piece of black card with the magnets in the right place to attract to the bot the top of the box gaff so yeah i've already been tinkering with my wallet there's a card in there isn't there oh i know what i've done I've got the Queen, I've got all the magnets on the Queen to attract to this card, that's it. And I have got a piece of black card just inside here. There we go. Just to cover up that Queen, because this was a bit of a rush job. When I've done it properly, I'll just have the magnets stuck on this card, not on the Queen as well, because I don't want to put extra cards in here, but just for purposes of this video because that was sticking out a bit you could see it look so yeah we're not going to be doing that but there you go guys that's how i did it a um, couple of gaff cards top of the box gaff some magnets some roughing balm and another blue card so make sure to smash the like button guys subscribe to the gaff academy post notifications on and we'll see you tomorrow for another card trick cheers